Can they be world champions, Great Britain? Or will it be Poland? Reminder, 4-3-2-0 is the scoring system. So if Britain finish second and third, they'll be world champions. Just avoid last place. Here we go. What a race in prospect. This is tension. Simon Stead can't watch. The Great Britain joint manager alongside Ollie Allen. We've got to watch. Yes. <laughs> Huge moment. Who will be world champions? Will it be Poland? Will it be Great Britain? Here we go. And the take side of Smarsik. Smarsik has got there. And now Janowski is going to try the outside run. Great Britain cannot afford to hold the inside. Janowski is coming round. Poland are looking good here. And now Smarsik goes right. Janowski is coming off. Janowski is off. Great Britain are going to be world champions. Great Britain are going to be world champions. Britain are going to be crowned champions of the world. Wow, look at this as Lambert goes wide. Smarsnik on the inside. But now Great Britain are two laps away from being world champions. What a moment it is. Unbelievable there with Matze Janowski getting off the bike, running into trouble. In actual fact, Bartosz Smarsnik got in his way. They're going to pick up the gold. It's going to be champions of the world in the Speedway of Nations. And Poland will miss out once again. What a moment. What a moment for Britain. Great Britain are world champions. Can you believe it? I've been saying all weekend long. It doesn't matter what happens in the 42 heats. It's all about what happens in a one-minute moment of a grand final. Janowski lost control, lost the motorbike, and Great Britain avoid that last place. And Great Britain are world champions in the Monster Energy FIM Speedway of Nations. What a special moment for the riders. Sensational scenes, crowds on their feet. Robert Lambert and Dan Bewley. And so Janowski is going to be absolutely distraught. Absolutely distraught. And uh, as much as they wanted to win it, Poland just missing out once again. Fabulous scenes. Got to say that uh, both Dan Bewley, Dan Bewley, this is a huge moment for him coming in to replace the three-time world champion Ty Wolfenden. And uh, pulling off the win here at home is something very special indeed. Look at these shots, look at these scenes. Two young British riders. A reminder, no Ty Wuffenden today, the three-time champion of the world. And they have overcome that to become world champions. Can you believe it? Soak it in. This is a moment to savour. Great Britain, world champions. Wow. <laughs> Robert Lambert's mum on the track. Well, these are pictures that will be played back year after year after year. Poland have been magnificent. They will be, I'll tell you what, Kel, they are going to be absolutely gutted. Team Poland will be absolutely gutted. Simon Stead, joint manager of the world champions with Oli Allen. It's a special moment. Indeed it is, and uh, the celebrations are going to go on long into the night, that's for sure. It is a very special moment, and you're right about Poland. Poland will be desperately disappointed. They came here to pick up the gold medal, and in the four years that they've been running the Speedway of Nations, Poland have missed out every time. And even though we haven't had Russia here, they still haven't managed to do it. And Matze Janowski's mistake in that far corner has cost them the opportunity to be crowned champions. And it's a wonderful, wonderful moment for Team Great Britain. And. Uh, Certainly for Dan Bewley coming in to replace Ty Wuffenden, it really is a special moment. Robert Lambert down on the inside there, celebrating in front of the team. Superb stuff. Dan Bewley and Robert Lambert started in the National Development League in British Speedway. They went into the Championship, they went into the Premiership, and now they are world champions.